All right, guys. Hello and welcome to the Yu Yang video. Um, as you know, well, some of you know, I've been playing Yu Yang a bunch in ranked in in ranked gold league recently because someone wanted to see a Yu Yang game and it was actually pretty fun. So I just kept playing Yu Yang and well, it's pretty relaxing, I would say. But anyway. Um, by no means am I <clears throat> recommending um, playing Yu Yang in ranked. It's it's very much not a, a strong pick. You can probably achieve better results in gearing or daring or any really smoke destroyer, even Hayate, I would say, than the Yu Yang. But um, these are some some moments, I guess, from from the stream, of course, that I'm gonna show you. They're not highlights or anything. I'm just gonna walk you through what what we're doing. With the Yu Yang and Ranked to kind of make it work, I guess. I think I've played it about uh, 11 times and I won 9 games so far. So like an 85% win rate in the thing, which is crazy. And we only lost um, 1 star, I believe, out of the 2 losses. So that's not bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you everyone for the support. I really wanted to thank you because we just got Twitch partner like 4 days ago, maybe? Uh, five days ago, maybe even just three days ago, but thank you guys. I really appreciate it um, But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video guys All right, so here we're in the Yu Yang on Islands of Ice um, Ranked of course uh, we decided to go B cap. I'm not gonna really talk about the gameplay too much I'm just showing some some things you can possibly do with the Yu Yang just because of its um, smoke screen and well, gun power, I guess. The gun power is quite weak compared to gearing. So again, you can achieve better numbers in gearing, guys. So, But anyway, these are some of the moments I guess we've had during ranked. So I'm going up here to B side and I find a Z Z52. Uh, he hydros me because I do outspot him. So he does click hydro and then he does spot me. And he smokes up. So I'm not going to let him just gimmick me like that. I'm just going to walk away. Angle away. You don't want to be running at him because then he just kills you. So you want to be waited for him, I guess. So I basically wait out here for him. And look, I'm slowing down to like zero now because I do want him to push me because I do want to like punch him down, I guess. But yeah, because I'm quite certain I outgun him because of his low HE alpha. But yeah, anyway, he runs in, of course. He wants he wants to kill me. Um, he does have, I believe, the HP advantage at the start because of that Hydro, but I don't really care. I'm just trying to kill him, of course. Um, the thing is, we already lost a Destroyer, so we needed to do something on this flank for sure. So we ha I had to kill this guy, like, by force. I, I believe I get some help from the Montana, but I still, I still out-trade him. I did about 18, 19k to the guy. We did, yeah, 19, it's like 700 HP to that guy, which is quite a lot in the Yu Yang. But that's what you're gonna have to try to do in, not just Yu Yang, honestly, in most of your destroyers. You're supposed to play conservative in a way, so you beat the other destroyers in gunfights. You don't want to be charging at other destroyers unless you're like full HP or something, but... You never want to charge at destroyers, especially hydro destroyers. You kind of just lose the trades and you lose games easily like that. But anyway, we get spotted. It's clearly the Shimakaze. It's one of the only ships that outspots the Yu Yang, except for gearing maybe with legendary mod. But Shima, there he is. We smoke up and he's shooting. So my Montana is spotting the Shima right now. So I'm just gonna open up. And well, the Shima keeps shooting here, which was his mistake. He could have literally stopped shooting and rushed me down and killed me. This is clearly his mistake where he kept shooting me. It seemed like he wanted to stop shooting here. And he kept shooting, and the Montana kept spotting him, basically. So, I just kept gunning him down. Honestly, this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to bait destroyers into shooting you. You smoke up, and then they just get spotted by your teammates. Honestly, the Yu, Yu Yang should have... Sorry, the Shimakaze should have smoked up, and, and he could have gone dark immediately. Anyway. Here... Um, it's this is a different game by the way. This is a different match on Islands of Ice. I'm smoking up my teammate here because I don't really need it. On this flank there was a Kleber, so this is the reason why I'm wasting the smoke. I outspot the Kleber by like 3 kilometers, so smoke is useless here. But anyway, we torped the gap uh, for that Des Moines. The Des Moines wasn't actually moving forward when I torped, but I preemptively torped uh, because I didn't want my Smolens to get rushed by the Des Moines. Cause 
Des Moines shreds the Smolensk up close, especially when the Smolensk is broadside. So I torped in that general direction to keep the Des Moines off him. Des Moines radaring. And the Des Moines, I don't think he had Hydro on. He might be running um, DFA or something for the carriers, but yeah, he gets <laughs> punched down. These torps are basically invisible. These torpedoes are really strong because they're invisible basically to anyone without Hydro. But yeah, and I believe they deal quite a fair amount of damage and their flooding chance is high, but the good thing about them is they're they're actually like, you can't see them before they hit you. The negative part of it is they, they actually don't hit destroyers, so you can only torpedo like cruisers, uh, battleships and carriers because they're deep waters, that's the pan-Asian trait I guess. Anyway, Smaland, uh, we find him, some help from the Zhao, we kinda gun him down, we get a bunch of damage on him. The Alpha seems pretty high, but it's I believe it's the same as Gearing, so again, you're just playing with a worse gun reload than Gearing. Your benefit, of course, is your really good smokescreen. Th this clip isn't really too too big, this is just another game, I guess, where we just kill a destroyer. Zhao hydros him, so he's spotted, and we just gun him down. You kinda just have to just gun things down all the time. Honestly, this destroyer isn't bad though. Like, like it's not the best, of course, and of course it's not as good as it used to be. But it's not, it's not garbage. It's like it's still usable. It's a destroyer, right? But anyway, so here, this is the one example I'm gonna show you of a radar Yu Yang game, <laughs> because I didn't really use radar because of the carriers in queue. I know you didn't see a lot of carriers in queue, but there were quite a fair amount, so I was taking smoke just in case. But anyway, so we took radar, our Shema smokes us up, which is really nice, because then we can DPM down the Zhao with our Yu Yang DPM, which isn't the best, this isn't legendary mod Yu Yang or anything, this is a normal Yu Yang with a 3.2 second reload, full gun build anyway though. Um, we get AP loaded, he's going broadside, we kill the Zhao. Shim, of course, is smoking us up and spotting the Zhao, which is really good team play. I did compliment that Shima, by the way. That was great from him. It was amazing. We killed the Zhao with AP. Don't be scared to use, of course, AP on broadside cruisers or battleships in the Yu Yang. It's not bad. Anyway, so we keep going. Of course, we're gonna come try help our Shima. We don't really know exactly where the Grozovoy is or the, or the other destroyer on this side, but gonna keep going here and well Shima lights up the girls away issue is Shima with his HP pool he's probably gonna die he doesn't have a smoke screen because we asked him for it before so he dies but that's that's no problem I mean he helped us before kill that Zhao which is pretty sure it's more important than what just happened there but anyway um, the girls of Oi smokes up uh, we use radar, we gimmick him, we use the radar, and well, we just try gun him down, I guess. This, I mean, you have a 25 second radar, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not the best shit, but it's very much gimmicky. You get really good smoke screens. I, I'd still rather play with the smoke screen than the radar. The radar is kind of something you play to make people, like, not expect it, I guess, but yeah. We get the Grozovoy, and we win this game, yeah, which is pretty good. So, yeah. So, um, I wanted to show you my captain build here. Um, so for my captain build, what I'm running is this. Uh, for tier 1s, I'm running priority target and preventative maintenance. For tier 2s, I'm running adrenaline rush and last stand. Tier 3s, I'm running the improved survivability expert. I believe it gives you 500 extra HP. I'm running BFT for quicker gun reload because the gun reload on this ship is not good. And I'm also running the improved demolition expert on Darong. So it gives you, I believe, an extra percentage or something fire chance. So your fire chance isn't too bad. It's still bad, but it's not too bad. And Tier 4, I'm running concealment. Now, if you want to go a specific ranked build I will take away the demo expert um, and preventative maintenance maybe and put RPF or 
or if you remove BFT and put torpedoes if you want to build for torps. You can you can do a lot of things on this destroyer, but it's again it's not the best at anything. And I mean it's not the worst. I don't I honestly don't know what the <laughs> the worst destroyer tier ten is. I don't know, it's a destroyer, it's not bad, so but anyway. Um yeah. I think those are the things you can run, I guess. Don't never take IFHE, never take AFT, you don't need it on this. SI, if you want to run the specific radar build, maybe you take Demolition Expert and put SI, don't need RPF, and you run that build so you get an extra radar, because three radars might not be enough, so you need four. S for smokes though, please don't run SI, you get five, so that's a lot of smoke screens uh, without SI. So. So for my modules, I'm running Main Armaments Mod 1, I'm running Engine Boost Mod 1, I'm running Aiming Systems Mod 1, I'm running Prop Mod 1 to accelerate quicker of course, Concealment, better stealth, and Main Battery Mod 3 which is the Reload Mod. Now alternate builds is, in slot 2 you can run Surveillance Radar Mod 1 where you get extended radar duration, you run the radar, but again, um, I wouldn't recommend running the radar in CV games, I would rather use a smoke. It's a very strong smoke screen, so you'd rather do that than maybe bait a destroyer into shooting you, like like I've showed you. But anyway, um, another thing you could do is torpedo tubes mod two instead of gun build, and then you run the torps on the commander, and you have quicker torp reload, I guess. But again, I'm running a gun build, so I have to run reload mod. But yeah, that's my modules. Alright, so I wanted to show you something before the conclusion, of course. Um, so, because I don't run the perma camo on Yu Yang, um, I wish I did, but I don't have it, unfortunately. So, <laughs> this this is what it looks like, basically. I just wanted to show you what the perma camo looks like. I don't recommend you buy this one, I guess, because it's not actually a super strong ship, but it, it does have a really nice perma camouflage. I mean, it's pretty nice. I use, you can use, um, also, this is quite interesting, you can use two flags, naval flags, of course, you can use the Taiwanese flag, the Republic of China Navy, or the Pan-Asian flag. So this this is what it looks like, basically. I think in the replays it showed you the Pan-Asian one, but I use this one normally. But yeah, I think in the replays it was either bugged or something, but yeah. It also has this perma camo, but I don't know about this <laughs> this one, this one's a bit crazy. Um, as a pair of my camo. Man, I, I miss this um, game mode, this Savage Battles, I think. Something like that. It was really fun. Just a torpedo game mode, super fast gameplay. Like I think that was like two years ago or a year and a half ago. That was really fun. But anyway, this is what the pair of my camo looks like, basically. Um, that's all I wanted to really show you here. But yeah. Anyway, to end of the video, I wanted to tell you guys, thanks for all the support. We did get Twitch Partner. Um, thank you guys. <laughs> we got it, which is really nice. Um, I I added a bunch of emotes. Like I think we have like 18 emotes. We, have, we still have like three slots left. So if you guys have any idea, please put ideas for emotes. Like put them in the Discord and I'll try add them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Yu Yang ranked video in 2021. But yeah... <laughs> Yeah, I hope you guys, um, I don't recommend any of you play this ship too much, it's not, it's not strong, you can achieve basically anything I showed you in this video in a gearing or especially a daring, because the smoke screens on daring are very good and the DPM on daring is insane compared to this, and you have a hydro and you have a heal. This I guess, it's just, you have a low profile destroyer because it's small, you got the smoke, you got the speed over daring, and you got the concealment over daring. But again, daring can probably outgun most things it can find, whereas this can't. So, but anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys aren't subscribed or followed or on the Discord, I recommend you to do all three or at least one of them, because I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Big fan, by the way. <laughs>